in a few seconds. Uh, all right, y'all, we're still hanging out with Victor Wooten. Got another question for him. I was okay. wondering, he just came off the SMV tour. And, and uh, for those of you who do not know, that's Stanley Clark, Marcus Miller, and Victor Wooten, three of the most profound bass players of our generation. And we just wanted to get a look insight of how you felt to be a part of something so yeah. enormous. Yeah, that's easy. You know, if you could think of two of your greatest heroes in whatever field, could be music, sports, whatever, two of your heroes, and then all of a sudden, you get to share the stage with them for almost three straight months. You know? mm. Record with them, whatever. And not only that, is you get, you are now considered an equal. You know, I grew up. I, I met Stanley when I was nine. And, uh, but I, of course, had been listening to him long before that. Marcus, I met later, but I'd been listening to him for a long time. So all of a sudden, I'm on tour with them. I'm in the studio recording with them. You know, and Although it's great, it's a dream come true, it's a little challenging because whenever I get next to Stanley, it's starting to happen less and less, but when I get next to Stanley, I revert back to that nine-year-old kid. Hmm. I'm nine again, right. you know, but I have to remember, no, I have to be an adult. I have to bring my, my skills, my side, uh, my weight. You know, I have to uphold my side of it. That's okay. Um, we just got dark. Was that me or did I blink? <laughs> Um, so, you know, I had to remember to uphold my part. So I have to stand up and say, okay, let, you know, let's try this. Here's a nice song to try. And be that equal that the public is, is, is looking for. But it's hard, you know, because it's Stanley Clark, you know, and, and Marcus. Well, it's a childhood, a you know, childhood hero. Is it intimidating hero. to it do that? It is intimidating. It is intimidating. It really is because there's still things that they do that I can't do. And, um, you know, and I have to not beat myself up over that and just do what I do, you know, because I, I do have my own voice and uh, I'll be much better at being myself than trying to imitate them, you know. But uh, it's amazing learning from them, you know, uh, not just playing wise, but, you know, how they handle business, uh, seeing them on the road working on movie scores in their hotel room, talking on the phone, you know, phone call, we're riding on the, on the, in the trailer or whatever in, in the truck or whatever the bus and the phone rings and it's someone talking about a movie hearing how they deal with people hearing all of it is all a, a good learning experience looking at their setup on stage how they EQ their instruments you know and different things like that so it's a huge learning experience all around and hopefully we'll be doing it again next summer so you're saying knowledge is always available because people say well you Victor Wooten you already got your sound you got your voice so are you looking at these guys and kind of kind of getting a feel for what they do? Yeah, I mean, you know, the mistake would be to think, okay, I'm, I'm there. There's nothing else to learn. Right. Um, but like you just said, knowledge is always there and is always available for us. And, um, you know, and it's nice to be able to revert back to that nine-year-old kid because then I go into my child mentality where my mind was open and I was learning everything possible from Stan. Right. But it was the same thing. And it was really cool. Um, is it worked into a thing on stage when we got more comfortable at sound check? We'd be showing each other stuff. You know, man, you know, Stanley, how are you playing that thing? How are you fingering that? You know, or Marcus, how are you using your thumb? Because, you know, Marcus is doing the down and up stuff with his thumb, but in a totally different way than me. So, sure. Marcus, how are you doing that? You know, Victor, how, you know, how do you finger that? And it became this big sharing thing, uh, which to me is what it should be about. It's what music is about. Right. So I was very happy that it turned into that. We were that comfortable with each other to where we weren't too intimidated to say, how do you do that? You know. And so it was very, very cool. We had a great keyboard player, Federico Pena, who was surprisingly good in my mind. I don't know that people know how good he is. I, I had no idea when I heard he was going to be our keyboard player. He was going to be that good. So who's, be, who's the drummer? Uh, I'll be using that uh, keyboard player for more work. But our drummer was uh, Dorico Watson. The man. Yeah, who's been touring <laughs> with me for quite a few years. He would be good. And I also felt that he would be the right person for the job mentally. Um, what, do you, what do you mean by that? Well, not too much of an ego. Oh, yeah, and okay. And also, when you have three... Uh, I can't think of a right word, so let's just say, I don't like this word, but let's just say three stars. Okay. You got Stanley, Marcus, and me. Um, you never know what it's gonna, what, what's going to be thrown at you as a side man, the drummer or the keyboard player. 
me, I might say do this. Stanley might say do something totally different. Marcus might say do something totally different. So you just have to be willing to take it from all three sides, uh, put your ego on the, on the shelf, and, and try to make us happy. You may want to just express your views too much. And sometimes for some artists, we may not want to hear your opinion. It's my show, you know what I mean? But I knew Dorico was going to be cool and be able to sit back, take whatever we throw at him, as well as play and interpret what we're saying incredibly well without overplaying as a drummer. And so, in my opinion, he was a, an important choice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got a little insight from a man himself, bass master. He don't like these type of words. Just say bass cat. Victor Wu from Missouri State University, Jay Ross, and no, you too. No, call me a master, man. No. <laughs>